What's up, Bobber Nation? Jim Bobbington here again, and today we are going to be doing a custom radiator guard. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right, so to remove your, uh, your radiator grill, you've got two 10 millimeter bolts. You got one right here, one on the same place on the other side. All you gotta do is remove those. All right, that one's done. You got one over here. Then all you have to do is kind of uh, pry it out from the bottom, and it pops right off. It's just got two little pegs. There you go. There we go. Two little pegs that slide up on top. And it comes out super easy just want to make sure that all my fins look good and actually they look looks like none of them are really bent just a bit dirty so that's good I picked this giant sheet of expanded aluminum this thing is uh, two foot by four foot and hopefully I should be able to get about three motorcycles worth out of this guy if I'm super careful so I mean you can tell holes are pretty small it's gonna block just about everything except for sand we're going to cut this bad boy out in fact um, I may be able to get four motorcycles worth out of this I'm gonna start pulling this apart and we'll get set up all right so basically I'm gonna start by cutting it into four pieces of equal widths um, I've got this white liquid chalk marker is the best thing I could think of to easily draw on this that'll wash right off uh, so I can mark where I want to be cutting things and stuff like that I've got these super old uh, tin shears I'm gonna try to use to cut this Okay, not hard, but kind of awkward. I'm just gonna save those other pieces for later. But now we can kind of get a better idea of how we want to lay this out. And I just want to make sure I get the holes perf perfectly perpendicular, or parallel, rather, with the fence, so it doesn't look awkward. And we're going to be gluing it down inside this rail here. I'm basically going to trace this outline onto this. And then considering that I'm going to be bending it down a little bit, I'm going to cut a little outside of that. All right. And you want to cut out more than enough. You can always trim it down afterwards so on the bottom lip there's quite a bit more so make sure and go a little bit extra outside that bottom lip so I got this big old sheet off of Amazon it was the best quality looking stuff I could find that was already a nice black wouldn't have to paint it with plastic dip or anything like that whole thing was like 40 bucks so for 10 bucks you and a bunch of friends can get in on this all do your radiator guards together it'd be so cute going to kind of shape it in there and cut as I go as needed. Okay. 
All right, so I have it all cut out. And what I did was use the handle. You could use a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, whatever. And I just mashed the edges in all the way around. And now we're gonna use twisties to kind of uh, secure it down to the fins. And uh, that way we will be able to glue it down and everything should be nice and sturdy. So I'm just gonna push like a hundred of these through and then secure them all from the back once I'm done with that. Of course you can use zip ties for this, but I feel like that's a waste of zip ties since you're just gonna be cutting them all off. All right, so I've got it zip tied down every other fin all the way around and some at the top so it's all rather secure and what I'm going to do next is do a silicone bead all the way around uh, maybe not like a constant bead but dabs of it every couple inches all the way around probably some here on these fins to get it through and under kind of get it all stuck together all right so I just got this black Permatex RTV silicone and we are going to start dabbing it all over the place All right, so I've got it all glued up at the contact points we're going to let it dry and really this adhesive is only for extra security. This isn't going to go anywhere when it's actually connected to the bike, um, but we're going to let that dry, get it all reconnected and see how it looks. All right, guys. So it's the next day. I pulled all the uh, zip, not zip ties, twisties. I probably should have cleaned this thing. Probably a good idea to wash it before you start gluing stuff to it. But overall, pretty darn decent job. This stuff looks good quality. And I got plenty to do it again if I feel like I didn't do it good enough the first time. So super easy job. I'll throw the link to the aluminum that I used. There's cheaper stuff out there, but this was the highest quality stuff I could find. You could get something cheap at Home Depot in the gutter department. Uh, lots of different ways you could do it. Same result all around, but I think this is a, a nicer finish. I didn't have to paint it. It's already black and we're good to go. Um, I just, I'm not a huge fan of how the radiator guard itself doesn't sit completely flush but it's always kind of been like that from the factory. I did end up uh, using a little cutting wheel on a Dremel tool to get some excess mesh cut around the edges where I felt it was, uh, there's a little too much folded up in there. Uh, but other than that, it's gonna do what it's intended to do. It looks nice. And that's about it. So thanks for watching. As always, don't forget, don't be a skid mark. This is Jim Bobbington. We'll see you next time.